Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC, formerly Titan American Build, the TV series that pulls back the curtains to American manufacturing, CNC machining, showing that we can do it better, faster, and cheaper right here in the great United States of America. Hey, I've been getting a lot of letters. I've been getting a lot of emails. Just got back from IMTS. You got these guys, young machinists, and they want to build their shops, and they're like, Titan, how did you do it? Like, you know, I got email after email after email of guys saying that they're, they're getting machines, that they're buying their own shops. They're making it happen. I got, I also get emails from machinists and shop owners that they might be in oil, and oil's down. They're laying off workers. You know, it, they're, they're going through the hardship, the struggles, and they're like, Titan, you know, how do we get new work in? You know, I, can, I can't solve all the problems. You know, I can't, you know, I can't fix everything, but you know, everybody knows, like, you know, I suffered through the valleys. I had laid off employees. I almost lost absolutely everything. And after jumping into aerospace and solving those problems, it gave me the passion to look back, to create a show so others didn't have to walk through the same thing. So today, I just wanted to come and just speak from the heart. No big cameras, no, no big fancy crews or anything. Just me and my phone. I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, my philosophy on having a job shop. We can do it in a few different segments. Right now, I'll just talk a little bit about marketing. You know, I think, I think what's, what makes me good, you know, I can, I can walk in to, you know, a billion dollar facility with my t-shirt with my black pants and my black boots you know because I'm a builder I don't pretend to be anything else I'm a builder I'm a programmer I'm a CNC machinist that solves problems I'm a programmer I'm somebody that because of my mind I'm able to design fixtures use mighty bytes use crazy tools to run multiple parts at a time you know I always say like machining you know, a lot of people can become machinists, but, but to go to that elite level, you have to solve problems. You have to figure out how to run a hundred parts at once, how to keep the doors closed, where one person can run multiple machines, multitask, you know? We're dealing with a global economy and we, we need to think like that. You know, it's not about us, it's about our customers. How do we solve problems? How do we drop their prices? How do we make them happy? You know, we gotta be willing to wake up at two in the morning, jump in our truck, go to the shop and make parts and drive them, you know, eight hours away if that's what's needed, right? Because we're the problem solvers, we're the CNC machinists, all right? So I do well with my black shirts, my black boots, my black pants. You know, when people see me driving down the street, you know, I got a truck, you know, it's not huge money, it's an 08, it's paid off. It's a beast though, I got 40s on it. I got my name big. My mom, my, my sister's name is Athena. You know, my, my name is Titan, it's my birth name. People always think I made it up. But this business is about reputations. It's about family and industry, right? It's about relationships. And, and when you do well and you take care of people and you build that reputation, then your name stands for something. That's why you always see my name on everything so people know that I'm connected to it. Titan American built it's it's gonna change Titans of CNC because we're all into education now where everybody can be a Titan of CNC let's bring the kids up the younger generation right but the truck it's not just a truck that's my business card when I'm driving around here that's my business card right when people drive alongside me my truck says American manufacturing is back it's bold Titan's making a statement. It's bold. He must be able to solve problems. My website, everything is on the back, right? So they make an appointment. People, engineers from different companies might follow my truck. It's everywhere, Northern Cal, Southern Cal, all around. They call up my office, they look me up. They see that my, my website is pristine. I've thought about every single thing that is said, every picture on there. I've taken time, right, to do it. They make an appointment and they come into my shop. From the moment they come to my shop, I take them on a journey of excellence because I'm a precision CNC machinist. Every part, every part, if, if they call out a 32, 
I want it to be a 16. If they call it a 16, I want it to be an eight. I want them to say that it is jewelry. It is, it is perfection. But people that haven't worked with me yet, they're seeing my truck. They're seeing my style, right? When they come into my shop, the moment they come into the shop, I want them to know that they're at a different CNC shop. I have my style, you guys have your style. You guys gotta figure out your own colors, the way that you guys do things, but it all matters. So they come into my shop, from the moment they come in, look at this, I'm going backwards. You see my son, my kids, right? Me and my son Tyson, right behind me, because I got, I got stuff on the walls. Me and my other son, Titan. Me and my son, Chris. I've established it's a family business. Right? But it's a CNC shop. And yet I got crazy pictures. You, you walk to the other side, I got filming. What, this guy's filming, I'm, he's got crazy big parts, you know? There's my shop right there. They haven't even been into my shop and they see my shop already. That flag that everybody's disrespecting on the streets that they're stepping on and they're burning at it, burning it, it hangs proudly in my shop. For the some first thing that you see when you walk in, because I only in America can a guy come from homelessness to prison to building a job shop. Because America is the land of the free, and our veterans fought for us for that freedom. And I and I it is proud. A veteran gave me this flag, and it is a prized possession. Because because of talent, because of the way I think. Because of work ethic and the way I do things, I can have my own CNC machine shop. That shop you see in the back, right? America is amazing, it's great. All religions, all people, it's great. If you have the talent, you can come from nothing and achieve something through hard work. Somebody told me a long time ago, solve people's problems and you're gonna do good. And that, I've taken that to heart, solving people's problems. When you walk in, you gotta sign in. You gotta sign your name. If you're a foreign national, if anything, like we have to know those things. I make some crazy aerospace parts. Everything has to be documented, right? Come into the shop. You gotta press a button right here. You actually have to be buzzed in to get into my shop. Right when you walk in, I come from Hawaii. Like it's just a piece of me. Nice saltwater fish tank. That's my boys. I got Nemo in there. I got Dory. You know, I got people's kids come in here and they, they check it out, you know. But check it out. It's black. Look at my walls. Like I said, you guys have your own style, but have style, have perfection. My walls are black. I got pictures. I got parts everywhere. That's one thing you notice is parts. Right? I don't have to I don't have to have a Lamborghini in here. I don't make a Lamborghini. I don't have to have fancy things. I make parts. I'm a builder, I'm a machinist, I'm a maker, and that is what the table, I made that table, right? Everything, those eagles on the wall, we, we water jetted those eagles, right? As you walk through, you see just parts, 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 because that's what I am. I'm a CNC machinist. I'm, I'm a guy that makes parts. They get assembled to rockets and submarines and race cars. I do it at half the price than most. And, and they blast off up to space, to Mars, under the ocean. And, and that's all I'm selling is I can make titanium, inconel, monel, you know, fiberglass, you know, carbon fiber, when it comes, Delrin, Vespel, aluminum, you name it, we can make it on a CNC machine. And I want people thinking machining and art and creativity, right? When you come over here, check it out. I've only done about 10. That's one of my paintings right there. I'm trying to get it right. That's one of my paintings. You know, I had my own machine shop. I had my own machine shop. I met my family for the first time. I heard my grandfather. I didn't know anything about any of them. I found out that both my grandfathers were machinists. My, my grandfather from Washington was actually a foreman of the machine shop at Boeing and actually, you know, went on and, and went into the military and did art, did the nose art on crazy bombers and stuff and came out in the sales. And it's like, I'm like that same person. No wonder, like I, I knew pineapples in Hawaii and I came in here into machining and just got it. Not because I'm great, it's in my family. I'm an American, 
I have a, a family that is a family of manufacturers that I never knew, and it just works, right? I sell that. When people come in, they look at my walls, they look at my parts. They, they, they look at all the different parts and stuff. They look at the detail in the paintings, right? They look at the detail in the paintings and they see like, you know, going into the surface underneath the rocks and stuff. Let me, let me, let me see if I can get it. Like, look at the depth, the blue underneath the rocks, the detail. That's what you gotta do because CNC machining, it's not about machining a part. It's about taking a chunk of metal, getting rid of everything allowing it to move, having an experience to know where it's going, and then coming in and kissing it, taking the pressure off it, uh, machining it perfect to print, and then looking at every crevice, every pocket, every tool mark, everything, and making sure it's absolutely perfect. When I take a knife or a deburr, deburr tool to it, skimming it, no snags, like it has to be smooth, understanding what five thousandths is. If I want to deburr things at three thousandths, I want, I want to make sure that it looks sharp, but it's not sharp. You know what I mean? What is five thousandths? What is ten thousandths? It has to be perfect, right? So I take people on a journey through my, right when they walk into my company, I take them on a journey because I'm about perfection. I'm not bragging, I'm just trying to give you the state of mind. People need to go on a journey. They need to know what you're about so they can believe in you. If you are perfect in all the things that you do, in, in your way, not perfect in their way, but, but you care, like my paint, like my paint. I don't, I don't want a single splatter. I don't want anything. My rug, my rug matches black. Black matches chrome, right? I've thought about all these things. When a customer sees that you have thought about these things, they're like, if I give him my work, he's gonna care about my product. If he puts this much into just his room when you walk into the company, then he is going to care about the assembly that we have to build so we can ship it, so we can pay our own employees. When things are on the line, he's gonna do what is necessary. That's another one of my paintings. Just showing you, machining is art, it's creativity. It's creativity, it's figuring out how to run as many parts at a time, right? When we go, we come over here, I got, I got cool, just cool things, you know, different articles, different things, right? Parts on the wall, parts on the wall, just all over the place. When, when you come into my shop, you see that it's about perfection. I'm, I'm driving that home because later on, because my arm is sore right now, I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do another one. And then we're gonna come, we're gonna come out here. We're gonna come into the machine shop. Put on some glasses. And we're gonna look welding, CNC machines. And, and we're gonna talk processes. We're gonna talk machining. We're gonna talk about how all my tables are perfectly. These tables, these tables, they're four inches off that tape all the way down, four inches. I don't want three, I don't want five, I want four. When I got when I got inspection equipment, inspection equipment is in the trays. Nothing else is in that tray, inspection equipment, right? I want everything absolutely perfect. I work off routers. Everywhere I go, I got my mission statement. If you go into any bathroom at, at, at Titan, when the door closes, you see my, that sign is on every single bathroom. Because if you're in the bathroom and you're reading something, I want you to know what our core values are and what our mission statement is. One of the first things that you should know and go do when you get a shop and you start making one, ooh, strength and honor right up there. One of the first things you should do is create a mission statement. What do you stand for? What are you trying to achieve? Machines, machines. Oh, I just took out my 11. I'm getting two five axis mills. Ooh, I'm so excited. American flag. Just different machines right there. Material, material, material. Inspection rooms way down there. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one of these. 
I'm going to talk about machine shop practices, processes, making sure everything's absolutely perfect. But today, I just wanted to tell you, from the moment somebody walks into your shop, from the moment they see your business card, from the moment they see you and you introduce, introduce yourself, that's the lesson. Precision, perfection. Stand for something and be perfect in it. Like you are gonna be perfect in machining those parts. All right? When it comes to, you know, getting work, you know? When, when I, did, before I had my machine shop, I started it 10 years ago, my bosses used to be like, oh, don't talk to the tool guys, don't talk to the tool guys. But I was hungry, I was like, I wanna run faster, I wanna do this, I would talk to all the tool guys. I made friends with all the tool guys. And when I went out on my own, and tried to get my own shop, you know who did all my sales for me? It was the tool guys, because they went into all these other companies that had their own products, and they would be like, oh, this guy Titan, he's running lights out, he's running all these parts, he's running at 800 inches a minute, he's running this, he's running that. That reputation went, not because of my mouth, but because I made friends with the right people. It's all about relationships, remember that? This trade is filled with beautiful people, men and women that are amazing and they have passion. It's relationships, get to know the people. If you guys are, you know, if you're buying a Haas machine, talk to, talk or any machine, talk to the guys that are actually selling that machine. Ask them, who's doing work? Who's doing production? Who does their own work? Who's busy? Walk in, talk to those guys. People that are making their own products or even big machinists, tell them like, this is why I can solve your problem because I'm willing to do absolutely what it takes. If you give me a job, I'm gonna run it at my shop at a discounted rate because of this, 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 and this. Because I've solved problems, I manufacture fast, I'm, my, my rate's gonna be low because I don't have a big overhead or whatever the case. And I will get up at two in the morning and I will go down there myself and make parts if that is what you need to make your assembly and ship those parts. At the end of the day, it is business. Everybody has a product. The product disassembles in a whole bunch of different parts. Either they machine it themselves, they outsource it to other countries, which is garbage, or they pick guys just like you to do it yourself. It is amazing. I love the whole, I, lo I love like, I love all of it. So, uh, send me some emails. I'll talk about some some new things relationships Talking to your tool guys making sure that your shop is about perfection Making sure that you like think about all the different little things from the moment somebody walks in they can see it So they have confidence in you pick up the phone walk into doors open the door sell yourself Have a good handshake. Let them know just like just like if you were applying for a job you know, I will deliver early. I will stay up overnight. I will do absolutely what it takes. I will make sure that your parts are better than print. I'll deliver it on time with American quality and make it happen. That's what it's about. Whew. So anyway, all right, guys. It is, uh, I got to go. My wife's waiting for me, but I got passionate. I had to like talk to you guys, all right? So you guys take care. Keep making American products. Keep doing it. Believe in yourselves. Remember, there's times where it was darkness. I was like thinking like I was done. And, but I had such belief in myself, I kept walking and all of a sudden, the path got wider and bigger. If you don't know what to do, keep walking boldly in victory, keep walking forward, have faith and just make it happen, all right? So this video is already too long, all right? I'm gonna do another video and it's gonna be on the shop, on inspection, on tooling, on figuring out just how to run a job shop. All right? Peace out. Have a great weekend. Oh, uh, boom. American built, American made, USA.